In this video, we are going to see how to leverage Postman to make HTTP requests to the OPEX REST API. First, go on the Mega community to follow the instructions. Type in here using Postman to call the REST API and you'll find some explanation of what you have to do. First, you need to download Postman. We recommend you to leverage the Postman collection available and that you can download from the REST API documentation that is online. Click the Download Postman collection. You'll access here the uh, online uh, REST API documentation that you can view online or you can run in Postman. If you click Run in Postman, you'll be prompted to download the file for Postman. Just say Open and the file uh, will be uh, open into Postman. If you have already downloaded in the past, it will request you to replace it or to import as a copy. As I already have imported it here, I will simply close this pop-up. But in your case, you may have to choose replace or import as a copy. When you, once you will have imported those collections, you will see in Postman the list of the collection that corresponds to the endpoints that are available for the uh, REST API of OPEX. You can start to make your, your first call from here, but you will see that in many of the endpoints, you have variables that need to be replaced, like the server URL. They rely on uh, environment variable that you have to set in Postman. You can here create new environment variable. Simply here, click Manage Environment, and you can start to add new uh, variable environments. Or you can also cr download a sample from the uh, mega community so if you come back to this post you can download the environment variable it will download a zip file that you can simply here unzip and that you will be able to import in postman so if you come back to postman you go under imports here Look for the file that you want to import, sample Postman environment, and it will import the environment in your element. And you will now have the information here available. You can uh, now make your request to uh, the API. The first call you have to make is of course the URS get bureau token to get a, a bureau token to be able to make any of the other call in this list. Once you have this token, the system will automatically, with this collection, uh, copy-paste the access token and the refresh token that it got into a variable that will then be used anytime. So you won't have to bother anymore about this token. We recommend you as well to download the SDL schema to leverage uh, some capabilities of Postman uh, about uh, GraphQL and autocompletion when you write your queries. So if you're here making a call to the endpoint of ITPM, go to the OPEX SDL schema ITPM, make a request to this endpoint, it will return you uh, the uh, schemas in a format of an SDL file that you can save, so save to a file, that you can then import in Postman into the API section where you will say new API, add schemas, import from file, you import ITPM that you just downloaded, you specify that it is a GraphQL uh, element, you can also give it a name just to avoid it's called untitled here, let's call it ITPM, and you can save uh, your, your item. When you come back to the collection and you want to make a, a call to the API, you will go into the ITPM endpoint, GraphQL queries, either synchronous or asynchronous call, and here in the body, you will be able to write your queries. Don't worry about the headers or the authorization. Normally, if you have set all the variables, uh, it will work. Of course, in my example, my variable environment ID repository ID corresponds to my environment and repository. If it's not the case, you actually have to edit the information from the environment here and put the values that correspond to your case. In the body, you can write a query. You have to select the schema that you have imported, ITPM, and now you'll be able to have the auto completion when you start to write something like for example here get the field of cloud computing and you'll be able to execute uh, your queries. 
You now know how to uh, leverage Postman to, match, uh, to make HTTP requests to the OPEX uh, REST API.